remains strongly in front. Been a really good keen competition so far. Only really 20 centimeters between the top three, and the medals could still go anywhere. So eight competitors in this competition. They have uh, six jumps each. Most of them have had four, apart from the man who's about to go now. It's Heinrich Popov, the leader. He's jumped 5.96 so far. That was his first jump, 5.16, then 5.59. And he stretch his lead over Yamamoto, which at the moment is just one centimetre. So he could do with putting a little bit more water between him and his next competitor. Sand. Red flag. So it won't be this time for the reigning world champion for Christchurch 2011. Recently ran, by the way, the 100 metres world record in this category in Leverkusen. World champion, Paralympic champion in that also. I think that's pretty conclusive. Must be quite hard to judge with the blades. Make sure you don't go over the line, because you obviously haven't got the feel that you would have with a foot. Some men just walking across the field with uh, the canopy that the discus throwers have been sheltering under. It's very strange. It's like a be some little key underneath this canopy as they carry it across the middle of the field here. So two jumps left for all the competitors in the competition. And first to go will be Singh of India. His personal best, 5.15, which was his fourth jump in this competition. Here's his fifth for Singh of India. Fairly slow run up, but then he accelerates at the end. Is that faster than five, uh, further than 5.15? He's jumped 4.72, 4.72, 4.87. His best jump, 5.15. And this was his fifth jump. It's the only event left in the stadium because the uh, 800 meter semis have been postponed. They're going to go straight to the final. One competitor has pulled out. So if you're joining us for that, I hope you'll just enjoy the long jump. I'll show you some highlights of the day as well. And they put some uh, fairly loud music on in the stadium now, just to uh, keep everyone entertained. If you like this sort of music, I'm not sure that I do. I don't recognise it. Five fifteen remains his personal best set today, but he stays in sixth place. This is actually going to be run off very quickly, by the way, because there's only. Uh, Two rounds left in this, and they are actually getting through it very swiftly as it's the last event on. There's no medal ceremonies to delay this anymore. There's no track action. This is Regis Woods in the United States, 5.03 in the first round. Not been able to match that yet. Has to be a lot of pressure put on his legs, by the way, from the... Uh, Aesthetic when he takes off. I know there are some who have one leg and one prosthetic, and some prefer taking off with the leg because it's more natural, and others who prefer the other way around. And uh, he's an above the knee amputee, which makes it even trickier, but he, he jumps very well indeed. It's a lot of sand in his pants, so you just see him pull him all out of the back there. Sand in your pants. Bounces his way back to the start. Looks fairly happy. Well, he won't be. It's only 4.34. Maybe he's just a naturally happy chappy. He's shaking some sand out of his hair now. The sand gets everywhere. So next it will be the Sri Lankan, Yoda. Yoda. And Yoda's uh, best was 5.08, his personal best. Jayalath Yoda. Can he beat his personal best of 5.08, which he achieved with his second jump? Walks away, currently lying seventh. Have 
highlights of the day coming up for you in just over 10 minutes' time. It's hard to remember everything that's happened. Unfortunately, I don't have to because Will's got a great memory and he's always writing stuff down while I'm busy just talking nonsense. He's making little notes and I know that he'll talk you through those highlights so well. Am I right, Will? I'm leaving in five minutes. He's leaving in five minutes. I may have to do the highlights. That'll be dreadful. I'll be going, oh, now he was good. Uh, oh, I can't remember what he did, but very, well, very good. I'll tell you who was good. Yoda, new personal best, 5.28. And that is 20 centimetres better than his second round attempt. And he goes sixth. Pleased he will be with that. Well done, Yoda. Diaz is Barasov of Russia. 5.28. Asks for applause from the crowd, and you can hear the applause. There's still people that are hanging on. This is the only event left in the stadium, but there's still people here to watch it. What can the Russian do here? Made a bit of a sound as he hit the board. I'm not sure that was the cleanest takeoff. He almost may have stubbed his tongue or something. It made a funny sort of sound. And he's limping away slightly as though, looking back as though, what was that? What happened there on his takeoff? He wasn't happy with it, whatever happened. Let's just look again. Here's his run up. No, it wasn't too bad. I think it just there must have been a microphone quite close to the board. So at the moment, he's in uh, fifth place. That was 5.30. That is the best jump he's had, it won't move him up. And that's his best jump of the day, beating 5.28, his previous best. So the Russian in fifth place, he'll have one more jump. The top four will have two more jumps. That's a really impressive athlete coming along. He is clearly limping, so there was something other in takeoff and landing that affected his Mazarov there. This is the current top eight previously the top four with the top four preparing their penultimate jump and next athlete is hugely impressive because he's won four Paralympic Games medals in swimming two of those gold and all time across all events nine Paralympic Games and World Championship swimming and he's a good athlete as well as we're seeing here well that is a major leap that is a brilliant leap as a white flag and there's a great chance that he's gone into the medals here. 5.50 was his lifetime best set earlier this year. And there's a really good chance that that's beyond that. And further. And he comes down with a thud right on his backside. He really does. He pulls the blades up ahead of him so they don't take any of the impact. It's all on his backside. Protects the blades, holds on to them, actually. And uh, that would hurt. Maybe it did by the look on his face there. But his coach says, well done, never mind. Keep smiling. 5.98, and he's in the lead. He's got into the gold medal position with his penultimate jump. Personal best, American record, continental record. Saving the best to last. And his that teammate going over and giving him a big hug, the Americans. Delighted with that. Look at look at them. It's a bit of a dance they're doing there. The two blade jumpers bouncing with delight on those blades. A new American record. So that puts him in the lead. Five ninety-eight. A couple of centimeters ahead of Heinrich Popov of Germany with five ninety-six. And everyone slides down. Yamamoto goes down to third. This is the man who is now in fourth place, Daniel Jorgensen of Denmark. Here he goes, the crowd getting behind him. Single-bladed jumper from Denmark. Jumps right off to one side. Looked a little bit iffy, that one. Gets the white flag. I don't think he'll trouble the lead. Three, the top three, seven just separated by four centimetres now. 5.98 for Rudy garcia Tolson of the States. 5.96 for Heinrich Popov of Germany. And Atushi Yamamoto of Japan, 5.95. Just centimetres, three centimetres between those. 5.98, 5.96, 5.95. Extraordinary. 
Four centimeters between the top three. So this is the man currently in the bronze medal position, Atushi Yamamoto. Seventh man to jump in this fifth round. And then after him, it will be Heinrich Popov, who was in the lead until that brilliant jump from Rudy Garcia Tolson of the States. Here goes Heinrich Popov, he looks a bit... Uh, sorry, uh, here's Yamamoto, he looks a bit uh, down in the mouth because he's uh, slumped back to the bronze medal position. Yamamoto of Japan. Oh my good lord, that is the weirdest style of jumping I've seen in my life. And yet he's still produced a really, really good distance there. They all seem to, obviously, they can't land uh, on the blades if they're going to break them, so they protect them. The previous chap we saw land on his backside. This chap just goes over to the side. Extraordinary. And lands on his good leg. Let's just look here how he goes forwards and then up over to the side, protect the blade, make sure you don't snap it. And uh, very, very strange style. It's an effective style because he set a new Asian record. And he's a new leader, 6-11. So that unusual style has worked for him. And he has now gone into the gold medal position. Well, what an exciting long jump to end the day. We saw Popov in the lead, then Garcia Tolson overtook him to take the lead. And now Yamamoto in the lead. So it's gold Japan, silver USA, bronze Germany, with one jump for each of them still to come. Yamamoto, extraordinary style. So the last man to go in this round is Heinrich Popov. He was in the lead, but he's seen two people this round beat him. What can he do there? That looked pretty good as well, but he shakes his head, gets a white flag. I think he knows that that's not going to put him back into the lead. It looked quite good to me. Well, he's gone down to third place in quick succession. Rudy Garcia Tolson overtook him with a 5.98, then Yamamoto with that 6.11. Popov is the reigning championship record holder. 6.23 in Christchurch when he won gold two years ago in the previous World Championships. Christchurch and Leon, the first two championships in which we have the new two-year rotation. So it's Doha in 2015, London 2017. 5.70 for Popov, he knew it wasn't quite good enough. So the final round awaits now. Another tweet, this is from Janina Lazzaretti. Well done, Alan Oliveira. We are so happy and so proud. Running 20.66 in the 200 meters T43. Wow. So that's how it looks with everyone with one jump still to go. Yamamoto from Garcia Tolson from Popov. And just a reminder, after four jumps, Popov was in the lead. And uh, Jorgensen not out of it either. But you'd expect the medalist to come from those top three. And the Japanese and the American have both set area records. And Heinrich Popov cannot quite believe it. He was leading this competition after four jumps. He's now in the bronze medal position. So everyone has one last jump. It's Singh of India. 5.15, his personal best. He's set with his fourth jump. Other than that, all of his jumps have been 4.72, 4.72, 4.93, 4.87, and that one's a foul. So 5.15 is his best. He will not go any higher than seventh in this competition. could go down to eight because Regis Woods is the man behind him and he still has one jump left. He will go next. Then it will be Yoda from Sri Lanka. Oh, this is Daniel Jorgensen who's making sure that everything is properly in place. So we're expecting Regus Woods to jump next. I think the cameraman just showing a shot. Yes, there is Regus Woods ready to go. It's the Dane just uh, making sure his legs on properly. This is Regus Woods, who we saw doing a dance of delight with uh, Rudy Garcia Tolson when he leapt his way into gold medal position, but he's slumped back to silver since. What can this fella do? With the stars and stripes all over his blades. Regus Woods, 5.03, his best jump. It was his first jump. Above the knee, amputee puts everything into this. He did, he did a split there, and uh, it would be painful landing like that. Last time uh, he landed, uh, he held onto his blades and landed on his backside. 
got lots of uh, sand down his back. This time he almost seemed to do the splits in, in mid-air. Let's just check this jump again. Gets great speed up, great leg speed. Opens it there and then leads with his right leg and his left leg just comes back round behind him. And I think that left leg with the blade behind him will have let him down a little bit there because that will have made a mark in the sand and it's the furthest back mark and indeed 4.58. Not an improvement on 5.03, his best jump. Jorgensen is still getting himself right. He won't make for another few efforts because it's the Sri Lankan in sixth place we're waiting for now. Tyler Fiona, personal best in the previous round of 5.28. And would need basically to add a three quarters of a meter onto that to his lifetime best, which he achieved 10 minutes ago, in order to get into the medals. But finishing sixth in the World Champion final, being the sixth best in the world at anything, is not bad. Let's see how he does. Well, that's it. That's the end of his final. Uh, that's about four and a half minutes. It's a white flag, but it's uh, all immaterial. He's gone out further than he has in his life in competition. 5.28 will be his lot. So five competitors still to go. Next will be Rudy Garcia Tolson, currently in silver medal position. The Russian is Bazarov will have another go. And then we will start seeing Jorgensen uh, pop off. Finally, uh, Yamamoto So it's the Russian currently in fifth position. Diaz is Basarov. 5.30, his best jump so far. Don't think he can get up into the medals here. There's five jumps left in today's competition from the IPC Athletics World Championships. Is Basarov. Here he goes. Good speed up, good arm action, good run, decent jump. But it won't be enough to trouble the leaders, but he might have improved on his best so far of 5.30. He has been steadily getting better. He started with a jump of 3.44. His best jump is fifth, 5.30. So Heinrich Popov still leads. Oh, well, by the way, due to feed the highlights as well, because there are lots of other TV stations around the world who want to take those. We will try and stay with us as long as we humanly can. We've got four jumpers remaining. And the man in second place goes now, Rudy Garcia Tolson, 5.98. United States of America and North American record in the fifth round, 5.98, absolutely brilliant jumping. That's not too bad either, but I don't think it's as far. distance to meet. He jumped 5.48, 5.16, 5.43 and 5.98 along with a no jump on his first one. And I don't think this will have improved on it. So at the moment he's in silver, but there are still four people to jump, so he could even still be overtaken and leave with nothing. Just for a couple of jumps, he tasted gold, but it was taken away from him, and silver's going to be the best he can hope for. And he'll just hope that he gets the silver and it won't go down to a bronze, or even worse, down to fourth place. 5.46. Next to jump. We saw uh, Jorgensen adjusting and adjusting his leg. And he's still just uh, pacing up and down. I think his leg is okay. There's a big yep. moment in his career. It was bronze in London 2012, his fourth 
At the moment, we will return to this because we must bring you today's highlights of what's been happening at Lyon 2013. <laughs> So it may seem a strange time to come away from the long jump, but the people all across the world waiting for a feed of the highlights, so we're going to give them that, and we will record this long jump action, so stay with us, watch the highlights. At the end of the highlights, we'll show you what happened in the long jump. I'll tell you very briefly, by the way, Jorgensen has had his leap. It's his last leap, it's 5.91, and he is five centimetres outside the middles. The medal jumps will come, Bob of Yamamoto are on the way. But now, look back at day two of Leon 2013. Well, some fantastic action throughout the day. Fantastically hot day in the 40s down below. And the men's javelin was certainly highly competitive today.